Well, Matt, I'm not quite sure how you sum all that up, but, but how do you? Look, I thought it was a, a high-quality game of football for the first half. Um, look, they're such a strong team and such a fluid team, got a great rhythm about them, and, and that showed in that first half. I really like the structure of the team. And we actually could have made more use of the ball in certain moments of that first half. We had the best chance of it in LT's chance and miss it and then got ahead from a, a set piece goal. We looked like we had a threat about us, especially down Scotty's side. And he gave their full back on that, that side second half a, a real torrid time. And then they started the second half really brightly. And, and then as we're chasing a change of shape, which we implemented, we got a bit more of a foothold in the game and we were able to withstand the, the pressure that was on us and Jed wasn't overworked. But then the unexpected happens and we lose a, a man to a, a sending off, which I've not seen back. You, you guys might have seen it better than I have. Um, and then it is backs against the wall for the last, was it 15 minutes of the game? Um, and Jed's had to make a couple of saves and we've rode our luck a little bit, but that's what you need when you go down to 10 men against a quality team. You were talking to me pre-match about having worked a lot about the, uh, the, the out of, of ball shape and you must be very happy with what you've seen from that from your team today. Yes, yeah, certainly. But like I say, then once we went to the back five and then once we went down to 10 men, all that goes out the window. It, it, it's still irrelevant really in terms of the, the structural aspect of a game of football. It's all about your intent and your responsibility, your accountability as a player to, to do your job and to be hard to beat and to work your absolute socks off for a team. Um, and I think the last two games, we've seen it moving towards it. We're still probably not as fit as I would like us to maintain it for a long period of time because maybe that affects us then when we win the ball back. But we have to be a working team. Mr Rovers is a working club. We have to be a working team. So I'm looking forward to seeing that develop um, and not to take anything away from our attacking play because we still had enough of a threat about us. Yeah, the second half, it wasn't completely back to the walls, but you had to show that defensive shape. It is the next step, trying to get out of that pressure by big holding to the ball a little yeah, bit more. When we did win it back in the second half, you could see we just needed to lend a couple of passes and then we'd, we'd get up the pitch. And that was probably the same pattern in the first half, certainly in central areas. Giovanni was rushed, Anthony was rushed, Camille was rushed. Those are three of our best footballing players and ball players, so I expect more and more to come from those three. But like I say, from where we've been at certain times this season, certainly since I've come into this football club, that the intent aspect of the group has much improved. Um, and I want to keep building that and growing it and developing it and, and valuing it. And I want the players to value it as much as everyone else at the, the football club. And then the skill sets we've got within the squad will hopefully show on top of that. So Anthony Evans come back into the, the team today. We know what quality he's got from, from set pieces. His goal or Chris's goal or where's that one going? I think from what players are saying, um, Chris's goal. Um, but I think Anthony will have a question mark against that. And like I've said to you previously, I'm sure there's a, a camera angle. I think you probably got asked the gas heads. They had the perfect view. Yeah. The majority of them had a perfect view. So they'll be able to tell, tell you whether that was Chrissy or Anthony's goal. Um, Chrissy's in great form. Anthony before his suspension was in good form as well. So, you know, they've been such big contributors. Um, we need other players to, to contribute. I mentioned about LT's chance. I loved his game today, yeah. but I want him to finish that, that chance to take his game to the next level and our game to the next level. Um, but like I say, once we get our defensive structure in a better position it has been in recent weeks, recent months, then those goal threats I've you mentioned will always come to the fore. Yeah, not been enough clean sheets this season. You must be very proud of, of that one because it, it was a proper team effort. Today. Yeah, I'm having to bribe him um, out of my own pocket. They're going to Cheltenham in a, a week, 10 days, two weeks' time. Um, so I think that's cost me 500 quid for the clean sheet um, and 500 quid for set-piece goal. So, like I say, when you, we try everything else and, and nothing works, you might as well give them money. Yeah. Well, and if it does work, then, then that's motivation for you. But it's, it, it's, it's something that you can then build from to have these kind of results more often than you've been having yeah, in recent weeks. 1,000 pounds is a lot of nappies, <laughs> let me tell you. So um, I've got to understand what the missus will say about that um, and what the family will say. Um, but it's more than worth it to, to see the scenes at the end. But also, to, we speak to using that word value. I want this group of players to value more what we, we see as important in this level of football. Um, but then obviously in terms of the conference we got on the back of probably a, a bit more of an ugly win last week and a different type of win this weekend, all of a sudden that's three out of the last four. We've won games of football, we've included the Stevenage game in that, and we're moving in the right direction. But we also want to keep valuing consistency as well, because every time we've had a little bit of a threat of a good run of form, it's been curtailed. Now we welcome probably one of the best teams in the league to, to the Mem next weekend, and all of a sudden that is a game to really look forward to. Yeah. And just finally, you mentioned those moments at the end with, with, with a good away support again. Those are hopefully the, the bits you can, can build from, and, and everybody takes more heart from those. Yeah, because it connects you more, doesn't it? Yeah. When the fans see the players putting everything and a little bit more into a performance, then they, 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 they love them anyway, as like a fans forum Thursday night, but they just love them even more. And they see themselves in, in that, those players as well. And whether it was Camille or Flash cramping up in front of me, um, I'd rather our players cramp up and hit the deck because they've given absolutely everything then they've got a little bit more, more to give. And I'm sure our fans are exactly the same. So also it's big that, I mean, unfortunately we've lost 
James Wilson for suspension and it looks like Jack Hunt in terms of an injury. But then Sam Finley back on the pitch, Connor Taylor back on the pitch. All of a sudden we're looking a little bit stronger, but then we lost a couple as well, so <laughs> I'm contradicting myself. It's always things right. As I said last question, but with Jack, that calf injury, it looked like it. It looked like it straight away. Um, his first action in the game. Um, Look, he had a bit of stiffness and tiredness on, on Tuesday, so we looked after him on Thursday. He did what he needed to do yesterday and he felt great. He looked in a good place going into the game and then I think that's been a pattern of his in his time at, at Bristol Rovers. So we'll assess that and look into it. Um, but that's unfortunate, but you know, everyone keeps telling me LT can't play wing back. When we went to that back five, he was our, our best defender.